Hi everyone, how's it going? Um, today we look at this new, uh, what's it called, the Sky Links from Transformers Earth Rise Commander class. And uh, this is my first Sky Links toy I ever had, which I have played around for a while, and this is really cool. I got this today and just I played I think for like a couple hours, and this is really good toys. Um, let's uh, let's look at this. We start from the base form. So if you look at it, so it comes with a sh space shutter on the part of Skylinks and the bottom part becomes kind of like launch base or something. Uh, so if you look at it, everything is very, very detailed, very tall. Just for size comparison, we bring the Earthrise Open Prime. So that's how big it is. So Commander class. Anyway, uh, I think this one you can work with Optimus Prime trailer or Astronaut Astron. I'm not sure what how to call that one, but we work with other Transformers. But anyway, let's look at the individual parts. So let's take out the shutter, the bot. Let's put the shutter away. Let's do the bottom part first. So we'll start doing it. Basically, this part is put this one back in, close it. Same thing for the lift. Also, put it back in. Same thing on both sides. And now I just Basically, close it like this. Now, this we can take this two part out, uh, and then we rotate each feet for the bottom Leo or whatever the animal is gonna suppose they call it. Maybe it's a Leo or maybe it's a tiger. I think it's a tiger, but anyway, just rotate each feet, front feet, bring it down, bring the feet down. So it's just and rotate it feet again, and you can do some proposing. Now, open it, for bring out the hand, you you think you bring this hatch down. Now you can see the tiger hand up inside. Now you just bring this one up. Bring the whole thing up. Now you got the animal beast mode. Now here, now you get the bottom part, which is the lynx, maybe the lynx, or whatever the animal is. Also bring this one in. So so now you got this one transformed as the bottom piece, bottom piece, bottom part. Let's say bottom component of the Skylinx. Actually, I don't know what animal it is. Maybe it's a tiger, or maybe a panther. I'm not really familiar with the Skylinx back in the G1 cartoon. But look at detail of this. this is really, really oh sorry, forgot to put these two parts in. So also you're gonna bring puts just attached to the hole on both sides of the, the back leg. So now here we go. So, really, really cool. I really like it. So, articulation, both feet have very, very wide action pose for posing. You can even extend this all the way up. Um, it's a very, very tight joint as well. So, same for the feet. It's very, it's very good for giving like really nice posing. Same here. And I think you can do that one here as well. Much. And at the back, you get this two weird tail coming out. Uh, I don't know why it has two tails, maybe a Cybertron animal. So, yeah, but, oh, it's coming off. That, so this is very cool. And for posing, you can do, I think, air articulation is very, very good. I don't have the power of, of Prime Skylinks, so this is like first Skylinks toy I ever get. But, Anyway, this is a very cool toy. I think Hashboard or Takara. I think Hashboard maybe or Takara. The, the designers are taking lots of efforts. Just look at all the details at the back. You can look at the sculpt, hand sculpture of the animal. So inside you can see there's a gun. So the toy also comes of some special effects. So you can kind of plush this in. You can see this like fire from the, the mouse, like boop, boop, boop. But anyway, not, I'm not a really big fan of special effect, but. Anyway, so put it aside. Let's start with the top part, the whatever that animal is. So this is the space shutter. Very, very nice space shutter. You can get like sort of NASA. Is it NASA? Yes. It's like a magnificence. I'm not sure what's that mean. What's the stand? Why you have that word here? But so you get Autobots symbol on both sides of the wings, and at the back you can see all the rocket rocket at the at the Bottom, just this, but 
this is like this is actually a very very cool vehicle mold just by itself it's so complete but anyway let's bring down the camera a bit oops oh oops sorry uh let's transform it so the top part it basically extends the this beast mode out so now you got the this weird animal hand and for the feet you basically bring down this little skinny hawk sort of feet or whatever this is now extend it out same thing on the other side oops bring this on bring out the wings bring this oh no oh my god let's bring this my the wing just came off that same thing on the other side of feet extends the feet and now you get this tiny skinny leg I'm not sure what it is this and for the wing part you basically extend this all the way up so as 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 back you can see you can it fully extend the wing out if you want like this so very, very cool so this wings so this wing can just move like this now just bring this down same thing the other side bring this up everything up so for the tail you can open the open this patch bring it to the side now you can see everything is like folded really nicely for the tail so bring, basically just bring the tail down pull it out and bring this down now you close the hatch so now you get this sort of tail for scanning or whatever this is thing is so now you got this weird bird bird looking animals i mean the reason i didn't i never get a like a skylinks toy before is just it's a bit, bit odd like but this one are really cool so same thing the neck is very, very very cool you got one two one two three four five sort of five part drawing like, to, to move around and the hand itself can rotate as well and fit it doesn't really somehow i think it doesn't really stay properly i think it's because it's quite heavy if you want but okay here we are, it stays so bring the camera a little bit so now you got the bird the top part uh, so now we're gonna combine these two which I, I think that's one of my favorite form of it but so let's start with the, the bottom leo panzer tiger or whatever you're gonna call this animal so what i'm gonna do is basically just gonna unfold bring back the uh the animal hand beast hand is bring inside and close it properly is it closed properly yes and bring back the tail now this is basically done <laughs> pretty fast so and start with the top part you're gonna bring down the bring back the feet to back to where they're supposed to be same thing do the other side let's bring this in oh okay just here we go and uh, tail hand it still remain the same you can bring that out a little bit more but anyway up to you now we're going to combine this so at the back here you can see this little pin you're going to go through the bottom part the back part of the the bottom animals the tiger okay i'm just going to call this tiger and same thing on the front so you can see there's another pin here which is you can adjust it it's quite cool so it goes into here so oh gosh the wing keeps coming off okay here we go so I, what i'm gonna do is it's gonna slide in the back part first and you just push this one in so now you get this combined mega beast which is one of my favorite form of this it's so i found like this now you got this giant animal this is so cool and just look at how big it is and um, let's bring up the auto ops prime again so just bring this one aside so you can see how big it is compared to optus prime i'm mean, think this is a leader class or Vilga. i think it's a leader class but look this optimus prime is very good already but sky links oh my god i mean this is a really really good one i mean I can see they really bring back the quality of the Transformers, Transformers toy back in old time. Like in the articulation, same thing, whatever you have for the bottom part and the top part, you always get it. And the tail, you can move it as well. And 
this is so cool like just look at how big it is and all the details and you can see lots of i can see they really put efforts into this anyway and then we're gonna again transform to another vehicle mode of it so what i'm gonna do is basically just reverse everything back so bring down the wing and same thing on the other side and bring back the tail let's bring everything back so we just fold everything back there we go in, bring back the animal feet so it's a hand and you can just attach the, both the space shuttle wing to this pin uh, same thing for the bottom part feet now we're gonna do this Oops, pass pen, but it is fine. We can do that later. Uh, here, what we're gonna do is bring forty extend and bring the feet down. So you can see here's a pin here. It goes to another hole here. So it goes to here. So basically, just attach it. Same thing the other side. Very very easy. I found this even though it's big and all the detail but transformation is very very smooth um just touch so same thing at the back feet you get ping you get a hole it's slide this in oops so i'll knock down my camera but here we go and here's the other side it's just coming up and the wings coming off but it's fine bring this thing at these two parts just attach it back to the side. Here we go. So now you get this much better vehicle mode. Like you get wear on the side of it, so you can actually do do like that. Oops. But <laughs> here we go. And look at all the details. This is very very heavy. Like everything is like really transformed and. Just look at this. Oh, look at the front. Everything is so cool. Like, I can see they put, I mean, oh, this is such a good toy. Like, I saw the Optimus, they can't do any better than Optimus Prime, but let's bring the Optimus Prime back. This is like, this is good, but this is better. Like, more, much more fun. Like, I'm already happy with Optimus, Optimus Prime, but Skylink's is like, I'm not. This toy itself is just a, such a good way of design toy. Like, I can see Hashbo like this year or Takara are doing really good on the, all the War for Cybertrons and all the toy line. All the toys are really, really good. I really found like really, really cool all the details and uh, transformations. And I'm really happy. Like, I buy third party toys, but I still like official license toy much better like they're much easier to transform and play around like sometimes the third party toy just can't really play it but i'm very happy to see they're approaching this way like for more the toys more designed for adult collectors like not for just kids but this is very good so highly recommend if you have big fan of the transformers uh, of course but if toy itself i mean this is the best they've done so far but anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching and hope you can see you guys next time. Bye.